Okay, it's time to do some more writing. And we have four steps to our writing process this week. Plan, write, revise, and publish. We are on step two, write. Do you remember our plan? Our plan, well, my plan for my writing is to write about polar bears and how I want the zookeeper to put polar bears at the zoo. And then I put some details of things that I learned about the polar bears. They eat seals, they swim, and they are white. Okay, I'm gonna put my plan up there. Remember, this is our plan. Now it's time to write. You should have picked a different animal. What animal do you want at the zoo? Okay, now that you've picked your animal, you've done some research, maybe you looked in a book, maybe you looked online, maybe you talked to people who know about this animal. You did your research, you wrote down some facts things that are true about that animal. It's time to write. And we're writing a letter. Have you ever written a letter before? Whew. Well, let me help you. Because writing a letter for the first time might feel a little tricky. But it's not that hard. I know you can do it. So, I'm going to write up here kind of an idea of what you should write. But I'm going to leave some blank spots because I want your ideas, not my ideas. When we write a letter, we write who it's to first. You can use the word dear to start the letter. Dear, D-E-A-R. And I want to write it to the zookeepers. Write it to all the zookeepers. Let's write, dear zookeepers. Then I make a little line called a comma that goes right here, dear zookeepers. You can write that exactly the same on yours. Then we're going to write what kind of animal they should get. So I'm going to tell them using a word that shows I want them to do something. And that word is should. I'm going to tell them you should. All right. And what do I want them to do? I want them to get an animal. So you should get a blank. Ooh, there we go. Now we have my opinion. Why I think they should get an animal, or not my, what animal I think they should get. <laughs> there we go. So you can copy this part all the same, but you should write the actual animal down. I'm gonna write it on this board. Later, we will revise. So it's always a good idea to put some spaces so you have space to revise. So I'm gonna write, dear zookeeper, on my board. You can be writing while I write, or you can pause if you need to. And I'll leave a space here just so I can do some revisions, so I can revise or fix any mistakes I might make. You should get, and my opinion is they should get a polar bear. Let me see this. Polar bear. Now I want to tell them a fact about polar bears. You aren't going to tell them a fact about polar bears. You're going to tell them your own fact. So you might say, I'm going to leave a blank spot, your an the animal is another blank spot. Maybe you won't use the word is, but that's a good one to try. You could use the word eats or something else. I want to write the polar bear. Is good at swimming. Ooh, swimming. I see the word swim here, so I'll use that to help me. Swim. Ing. Swimming. Like that, right? Mm, I'm not sure, but I'll leave it like that because right now we don't have to worry about all our spelling being right. We'll fix it later if we need to. Okay. You should get a polar bear. The polar bear is good at swimming. Okay, that's what it says so far. So, I have 
what I want them to do. I have a fact about my animal. Now I need to give them a good reason to get the polar bear. You are going to give them a good reason to get their, your animal. So we have a fact. Now we need a reason. Ooh, I know a good reason. If polar bears are good at swimming, people will like that. And then people will come to the zoo and then the zookeepers will be happy because they have people to show the animals to. So, hmm, I'm gonna say people, people, oh, people, is that it? I don't know. I'll worry about it later. People like watching them swim. Okay. Now, I don't know how you're going to write your sentence. Maybe you might say something like, I don't know what animal you'll pick, so I'm just going to go with polar bears. Maybe you'll say something like, polar bears are fun. People like polar bears. Lots of people would come to see the polar bears. Any, uh, any reason you can think of. So any reason you can think of is a good reason. Go ahead and write your reason now. I can't help you very much with this sentence, but your learning coach can. What's a good reason? Another way to think of this sentence is if you said the word because earlier, like you should get a polar bear because people would like to watch it swim. Or you should get a polar bear because they are fun. You should get a polar bear because they are awesome. Any kind of reason like that. You can write that here and you don't even need the word because they are awesome. That would be your reason. All right. Then you need to end your letter. We can end the letter with the word from. Here's the word from, and then I'll write Mrs. Loose. Here's my writing. And you can write, can you see this part? I don't know if you can see it, but we'll try. From, you put that comma, which you can't see. We'll look that up a bit. Put that comma, and then you write your name. All right, that is writing. I want you to have the animal you picked, a fact about the animal, you could pull one from your plan, and then a reason why the zookeepers should get that animal. Go ahead and write your letter. Don't forget to address the letter to the zookeepers and write your name at the bottom from so-and-so.